Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joe. I hope everybody can see me. <laughs> Let me type in my thing. Hi there. My name is Joe, and I'm from Canada. And a smiley face. <laughs> Hi there. So who else is here? I've seen some quotes before. Some people have written in. I don't know if Lolly and Samily, are you guys still here? Matin is here. Hello, Matin. Who else is here? Uh, all right, Kiko is here. Wow, okay, hi, Kiko. Jacek is here. Konol is here. Hi, Lolly. Wonderful. Good to see you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day today. What is today? Today is Tuesday. <laughs> it is now 4.47 in the afternoon. Hi, Marina. 4.47 in the afternoon here in eastern Canada. 11.48, yes, Kiko. I just woke up, Kiko, right, yeah, it's probably almost 5 o'clock in the morning in in uh, in Japan, Kiko, Maria is here, hi there, Maria, Outlander, I missed you, yes, yes, uh, yesterday, I, ha I uh, what happened yesterday, I had to take kids to swimming lessons, and then I had to go to a hockey game. <clears throat> Hi, Rula. Marari, hello. Nice. 8.47 in Poland. Okay, not too bad. That's not too bad, 8.47. <clears throat> I better have a drink, everybody. I like water. It was a beautiful sunny day today. A little cool. Maybe it was around 10, 10 or 11 degrees, but still beautiful. It's 11.18 in Iran. Okay. Hi, Kayum. Nice. All right. We got some people here. That's great. Wow. Gatorade time too fast. Yes. Tatiana is in Scotland. 748 there. Okay. All right. Not a big difference. Hey, Farida. All right. So more people are coming in and some people are already here and that's wonderful. 1148 p.m. in Dubai. Okay. So it's pretty late some places. So why don't we get started right away? I can only I can only do a live lesson for one hour tonight because then uh, I have to go pick up my daughter at her pottery class. Okay? All right. 1.30 in the morning in Mumbai. Wah! 9.49 in Cairo. Hi, Sabina. What are we going to do? All right, Marina. I've got... <laughs> I made some notes. 4.49 in Tokyo. Today we're going to talk about internet words, words that we use on the internet or about the internet, okay? So as before, I will say a sentence and leave a blank, and you guys try to guess what word goes in the blank, okay? I'll tell you if it's a noun or a verb, adjective, and the first letter. All right, here we go. I think we'll start off, this one should be easy. All right. This one is a is a usually a noun, but in this case it's an adjective, and <clears throat> it, it starts with the letter E. Here we go. My mm address should be written on the bottom line. My mm address should be written on the bottom line. What do you think? Yeah, Marnie has got it. Kayam's got it. Lolly's got it. Farida. Ipec. Matin, yes. Yeah, there's an easy. Should be written on the bottom line. Oh, let me spell bottom right. Yeah, I think everybody's getting it. Yes. Just the warm-up. An email. 
Yes, here we go. Yeah, my email address should be written on the bottom line. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. All right, good. Good start. All right, so this one's a little harder. Maybe still easy, but a little harder, I think. The next one is a noun, and it starts with the letter... Oh, hi, Hima. Hi, Abdul. I'm doing great. All right. So the next one's a noun and starts with the letter W. It's a noun and starts with the letter W. Here we go. I am going to visit the company's... Mm. Hi, Elise. I am going to visit the company's... Mm. All right, Kayam, that's close. Yes. Yeah, so some of you, I think you had the right idea, the web or the ice site, but we wanted the word website altogether. Yes. All right, I'm going to visit the company's website. Website, yeah. Okay. Hi, Hamdi. Because the web just means the World Wide Web, the Internet in general. So if you say website, it's got to be belong to a certain company, a company's website. All right, very good. Now let's move on to number three. We're doing good. Web is not equal website. No, Kiko. Web equals the World Wide Web. Web equals World Wide Web, which equals www. All right, web stands for the internet. So you don't say, I'm going to visit the company's internet. The internet doesn't belong to one company, but a company can own one website. Okay. All right, <clears throat> let's go to number three. All right, number three, this is usually a noun. It's a name, but in this case, it's an adjective. It starts with the letter I. My friend doesn't have an Instagram. No. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> this is a noun and starts with the letter A. I gave you the wrong word. This is a noun that starts with letter A. My friend doesn't have an Instagram. Mm. My friend doesn't have an Instagram. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Yes, everybody's getting that one account. That was an easy one too. All right, yeah, all of you guys, you know your your inst your internet words easily. My friend doesn't have an Instagram account. Right. Okay, here we go. Number four. All right, this is uh, a well, it's a noun. It's an adjective in this case, but it starts with the letter F. Okay. Did you see Carol's newest post on her M page? Hanya, hey there, hey back, hi. Did you see Carol's newest post on her M page? Yes, Cam's got it, Kiko's got it, Marina's got it. Yeah, you guys, good listening. Did you see Carol's newest post on her Facebook page? Yeah. Did you see Carol's newest post on her Facebook page? Yeah. All right. Okay, these seem easy for you. If they're too easy for you, what you can try and do is write down the whole sentence. All right? Instead of just writing the word, try and dictate, try and get the whole thing. Write the full sentence before I write the full sentence. That'll be more of a challenge for you. Okay? Nice. Uh, here
Here we go. Here's the next one. All right. This one is a verb. And it starts with the letter L. All right. Okay, this one goes, I am mm, the president's tweet from yesterday. I am mm, the president's tweet from yesterday. Yeah, I think Elise has got it. Hamdi close. Because we got a little bit of difference here between like and liked. Hello. I like the president's tweet from yesterday. Close. Outlander, good. Hema, uh, close, close. All right, so here we go. So I put down, I liked the president's tweet from yesterday. So as an internet word, to, to like someone or to like something means you hit like a thumbs up button or you hit the heart button, so you liked it, okay? And you can do that in the present tense or the past tense. This one yesterday, so it's, it's I liked it. That means I hit the like button. Okay, it's not the same as just I like it. I like water. I like ice cream. All right. You liked it means you hit it. Okay. So I like the president. So, and also president, usually put it in capital letters, the president, president's apostrophe S. Yeah. Oh, you're working. Hi, Rosie. All right. Keep on working. <laughs> All right. Everybody liked this live stream. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I Yeah, see, I think what you guys see is different from what I see, so I can't see any like buttons or anything on my page, so I don't know exactly what you guys see. All right. So that's the difference between like, just a regular verb, and liked, an internet word. Okay? Me too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lolly. Thanks. Thanks, Outlander. Okay. Thanks for the likes. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here's the next one. All right. This is a noun. I hit the like button on your video. Okay. Thanks, Kiko six likes now okay yeah. see yeah that's something that i don't see tatiana i i there's a lot of buttons and things and audio yeah <laughs> so i don't see that but thank you very much i appreciate it seven oh hey helano all right so here's the next one this is a noun and starts with the letter p all right here we go i forgot my mm so I had to get a new one. I forgot my mmm, so I had to get a new one. What do you think? What's that mean? What do I... Yeah. Yeah, so internet word. Phone is also fits, but internet word password is what we're looking for. I forgot my password, so I had to get a new one. Yes. Yeah, so a password, that's your special code to get into a, a, a protected website. Yeah. Your passcode. Yeah. I forgot my password, so I had to get a new one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm always forgetting my passwords, different things. I got them written down. I still forget them. Yeah, it's a big mess. Yeah. All right. All right. So Kiko, you'd have to say, 
I have forgotten my password many times. Okay? Yes, Cam, I've forgotten. So, and I'm just talking about, in my sentence, I'm talking about one time, I forgot, simple past. It happens, it happens, but as long as you got email address, you can get it set up again and get going. I've changed passwords so many times. Yeah. All right, very good, very good. All right, let's try this one. Let's try this one. This is a noun, and it starts with the letter A. I think maybe you'll get it, but I'm not sure. Okay. All right. You're welcome, Kiko. My work email mm, gets so much spam every day. My work email mm, gets so much spam every day. I, your email address is just the letters, but I would the what I was looking for was not just the address. I was looking for this. My work email account gets so much spam every day. So the account means the inbox, right? I get a lot of yeah. So address is very similar, but that's just the address. So that's just the letters but it goes into my inbox okay does everybody understand what spam means right garbage garbage emails advertising right do you, do you see the difference there's a there's a slight difference yeah ads yes yeah I think that's yeah so lolly spam means garbage right advertising mail like they you, you you're not asking for it but they send you things you're on a list somewhere so my work email I get advertising from uh, I don't know lots of people like uh, do you want to buy some pills for this or a cure for this yeah garbage yeah key garbage emails yeah Spam, you guys got it. Right, okay, okay. Okay. Let's try number eight. Do you guys want to keep going on number eight? I'm excited about number eight. This one is a verb, and it starts with the letter W. Okay. All right, here she goes. The verb starts with the letter W. She has a blog that she mm on each week. She has a blog that she mm on each week. What do we got? Okay. So well, both words could work, but you got to have the grammar right. Okay? So a blog means a web log, like a journal online. All right? That you that you write on. So you could say works, but remember it she. She work or she works. Right? It should be she works. The word I have down is she has a blog that she writes on each week cuz you, you write on it you know, you, you add to it. Works would fit and writes could work, but not write and not work because the grammar doesn't work. Do you guys understand? All right, so it's got to be writes or works would be the best. All right, so remember when I, whenever I say it's a noun, whenever I say it's a noun, think about do I mean singular or, wor or plural? When I say it's a verb, there's two things to work out. Is it now or a different tense? And does it match the subject? Does it agree with the subject? Those are the two things. Okay? 
Great, great, great. Let me write those down. Okay. And, all right. When I say a noun, your internet is so slow today. I'm sorry, Hema. Okay. So for a noun, ask yourself if you mean one or more than one. And for a verb, For a verb, there are two questions. First, do you mean now or another tense? And second, does it agree with the subject? OK? OK, so verb, there's two questions. First. Do you mean now or another tense? Second, does it agree with the subject? Okay. If you guys can remember those questions for nouns and verbs, a lot of your mistakes can go away. All right. And you can become better at English immediately. Right. Just following those things, those questions before you speak or before you write. If you remember those things immediately. All right. So close, Kiko. Joe has an Instagram, I would say an Instagram account that he posts on every day. All right, very good. Very good. Let's go on to number 10. Okay. This one may be easy, maybe not. I'm not sure. You kind of have to imagine because it's got a it's kind of a visual thing. You have to imagine what's going on. This is a noun and it starts with the letter M. Put your M on the scroll bar and then you can move down. Put your M on the scroll bar and then you can move down. Yeah, don't worry, Hema. So there's a video about that, about becoming a better writer in my videos. Yeah, mouse, Esteban, right, Jacek. Yeah, mouse. Put your mouse on the on the scroll bar and then you can move down. Yes, I think everybody and Kiko even added a picture of a mouse. Thank you, Kiko. <laughs> Put your mouse on the scroll bar and then you can move down. Everybody understand scroll bar? Do you know what that means? Right, the little bar beside or on the bottom that you can move around? Yes. Okay, Marina has got a touchpad. That's the man understands. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So the wheel, well, in your mouse, some people have a wheel mouse. There's a little wheel in there to turn. Okay. But the scroll bar is a little thing on the side that goes up and down sometimes. Okay. Is there one here? I don't know if there's one <laughs> on this. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on to number 10. Let's move on to number 10. What do you think? This one is, this one is an, uh, well, it's an adjective. And it starts with the letter M. Okay, adjective that starts with the letter M. Oh, Abdul, you don't understand scroll bar. So if you go to a website and you see some stuff on the website, but there's more down below. So you got to put your on the scroll bar and move the thing down. And then more, more of the website comes up so you can read it. So the scroll bar just moves you up and down on the website. Okay. All right, so this is an adjective and starts with the letter M. Here we go, number 10. Google is the M popular search engine. Google is the M popular search engine. Esteban, Hamdi, Kiko, Konul, Outlander, Marnia, yes.
Yeah, everybody's getting it. Excellent, excellent. That's great. Google is the most popular search engine. Perfect. Okay, very good. All right, let me do a little survey here. Let me do a little survey. Um, if we talk about most popular, what do you think? What would he say? What is the what is the most popular fast food in your country? Think about the big fast food food chains, the international fast food chains, like McDonald's and Burger King and Pizza Hut, KFC. All right. Oh, you didn't hear the word most. The yeah, Google is the most. Yeah, the most popular fast food chain in your country. Esteban says. McDonald's, Tatiana says fish and chips, okay. KFC in your area, yeah. What's the most popular fast food chain? McDonald's, Elise says McDonald's, they got the most. Pizza Hut, Farida, McDonald's. Uh, Kayam says Vodapa, okay, I don't know that one, yeah. McDonald's, Marina say, Helano, McDonald's. McDonald's and KFC. Yeah, so McDonald's and KFC for Kanul. Chicken Donor. Okay, I don't know that one. Yeah, I know that in my city, how many? There's probably more McDonald's places. Yeah. Abdul says green salad. Okay. McDonald's, Maria, McDonald's, Rula. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure how to express this word in English. Okay, that's a, a popular Japanese place. Okay, yeah. Lolly, McDonald's, and Quick. Okay, I don't know. Burger King is also very popular in Brazil. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, let's go on number 11. All right. This time, because I think... I think the other ones are a little easy. So what I'm going to do, Tatiana says Burger King tastes better. Okay. These ones, I'm not going to tell you the type of word or the letter. I'm just going to leave a blank and you guys try and guess this blank. Okay. Put a little challenge in there. So listen carefully. Number 11. Sometimes I just surf on the mm for fun. Sometimes I just surf on the mm for fun. What goes in there? Yeah, so internet, net, web. Yeah, I think all of those work. Yes, net, web. Right on, you guys. You got it. Sometimes I just surf on the internet for fun. Yes. All right. Okay. So you wouldn't say sur you wouldn't say surf on the Facebook though, Kayam. So it's the internet or the web, the net. Okay. All right. Okay. So now tell me uh, what kind of websites do you like to check out? What's your most popular websites? Don't say any uh, non, this is a family friendly show. So if you don't want to get <laughs> time out, don't say anything dirty. So what do you like to search for on the internet? Halano likes YouTube. <laughs> Kiko understands the, the rules. Yeah, yeah. Facebook, Instagram. Esteban checks out the news. Uru Maki, I don't know that one, sir. Okay, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn for Hema. Or like Medium. I don't know Medium. Okay, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram, and news. English lessons on YouTube. Yes, Lolly, I imagine you do. 
I won't say because it is okay, Kaihum. All right, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram. I don't see any shuffle. My best is YouTube. All right, Stack Overflow. I don't know that one either. All right, YouTube and listen to online books, Canole. That's really good. Listening to online books is excellent, excellent practice and fun. Oh, hello, Muhammad. Yeah. Audio books, wonderful, Marina. All right. Yeah, I think I my mine is probably, well, uh, Instagram, I go on there. But YouTube, I learn a lot. TED Talks, wonderful, yeah. Is very popular among programmers. Oh, ho, 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 Halano. Yeah, I'm not a programmer. I'm a farmer. So different. Okay. Let's go to number 12. Okay. This one, again, I think it's going to be easy, so I'm not going to tell you. Just try to guess the word. Here we go. I bought a new webcam for my desktop. Mm. I bought a new webcam for my desktop. Mm. YouTube, TEDx, Instagram. Okay. For my yes Marna yes Outlander well no it's a band yeah right I bought a new webcam for my desktop mmm yeah so I think the next the word I was looking for is computer desktop computer laptop computer yeah so desktop computer Let's have a drink. Me first. Ah. Yeah. I bought a new webcam for my desktop. I got live. Okay. All right. Number. I think everybody got computer. Let's do the number 13, everybody. Again, I think... Should be easy. Should be easy, so no help. Here we go. Ready? Enter your mm and password to log in. Enter your mm and password to log in. All right, so Hamdi's got it. I think Muhammad's got it. Outlander, that's possible, but the one I'm looking for is Conil's got it, Helano's got it, Tatiana's got it. The common, the most common word, what? Enter your username and password to log in. So sometimes your username is your email or your name so your name could be the same or could be different from your username okay username and password to log in all right hey good the um, one thing my uh, I, I met some new students today I had new students in my class and uh, so they know that I, I, I'm on Instagram, so they want to follow me, and they want me to follow them back. The problem is people's usernames are not the same as their names. So, for example, one girl, I can't remember exactly. Her name is Ayaka. I think maybe Ayaka. But her username on Instagram is like AY128. So, you know, it's very difficult to find that right oh uh, that's okay Hima <laughs> yeah you're the same yeah all right so sometimes they're the same sometimes they're different all right let's try number 14 <laughs> all right all right so no help on this one see if you can get this one hey what is the mm password Yaka from Japan, yes. Yeah. User ID, okay. 
What is the m mm password? What word do I have there? What is the m mm password? Not your, no. Oh, no, okay. So correct would work and right would work. Hamdi, you can't say your because what is the your? We don't put those together. But the one that I'm thinking about, imagine you go to visit someone or you, uh, you're you in a restaurant or someplace. We use this. What is the Wi-Fi password? Yes, KM got it. What is the Wi-Fi? Abdul's got it. All right, you'd ask, hey, you know, the, the, the restaurant or coffee shop has free Wi-Fi. Okay, what's the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi, yes. Yeah, so that means that you can use your phone over the internet and you don't need to use data. So it might be a different different system in different countries because I think data is cheaper and more expensive in different areas. Yeah, so Wi-Fi is you can search the internet wireless, wirelessly. Okay, all right, great. We got that. Very good, everybody. We went through it pretty fast because I, I, I have to finish in one hour. So I wanted to keep going a little bit. Let's go on. Do you want to do the next part? The next part is internet slang so this is when you're texting do you know what these words mean all right so here's the first one i'll type it in and then you guys guess if you think you know what it is yeah hema you got it he's wi-fi password all right so the next one here what does this mean what does brb mean brb Yeah, Outlander's got it. Kayum's got it, yes. I don't know, okay, yeah. So, Hamdi, you're learning a new one now, that's good. Farida's got it. Lolly, learn a new one. Halano, you didn't know that one? All right, that's good, you're learning. Be right back. Yeah, be right back. All right. So if you're texting with somebody and they have to go do something, they would say BRB, meaning I got to go, but I'll be right back. In a couple of minutes, I'll come back online and I'll chat with you some more. Be right back. I have to go, but I'm coming back. Okay? Nice. That's good. It's good that some people know it and some people didn't. We could learn. That's good. Come back as soon as possible. Yes. Is it a phrasal verb um be right back perhaps perhaps it is but anyway it's it's a it's a common thing that you could say when texting brb but also if you're going somewhere and coming back so if i'm going to the store but i'm coming back hey i'll be right back everybody maybe you're gone five minutes all right this next one i think everybody knows Hmm, that's good. It's new for me. Okay, good. We're learning from our kids, yes. All right, what's this one? What's this next one mean? LOL, what's that mean? Yeah, lots of laugh, laughed out loud. Yes. Yeah. So it's yeah, laugh out loud. Lots of love. Not quite Esteban. Yeah. It's lots. Yeah. So laugh out loud or laughing out loud. Okay? So it doesn't mean lots of love. 
even though the the the, the letters equal the same thing l o l lots of love but you got to be careful and i heard a funny story about that <laughs> All right. So laugh out loud. If somebody says something funny online and you write LOL means, hey, I'm laughing out loud. I enjoy it. That was funny. All right. That's what it means. LOL means I'm laughing. I like what you wrote. I like your picture or something. It's very funny. Okay. All right. But lots of love. Here's a funny story about that. <laughs> this, uh, this this woman on Facebook, she said, "Hey, I'm my my grandmother passed away uh, last night. Thank you all for supporting me." And she put a little picture of her grandmother who died last night. And everybody else was writing, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. We're thinking of you. Uh, we love you." But this one woman, she thought "LOL" meant lots of love. Uh, okay, sorry to hear about that. LOL. But it doesn't mean lots of love. It means laugh out loud. So if you're talking about a grandmother who died and you say, ha, 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 that's funny. So don't mix them up. <laughs> it's in the old ICQ speech. ICQ, yeah, I think probably. Probably started there. All right. Now what's the next one? What's this one mean? L-M-A-O. Anybody know this one? LMAO. Yeah, that would be embarrassing if you, 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 yeah, so don't mix them up and don't say LOL for somebody died. Laugh, what, what, what? Okay, something with laugh. All right. Oh, maybe this is a new one. All right, here we go. LMAO means laugh my ass off. All right. Now, ass, so ass is a kind of a rude word for your bum. But if you say, oh my God, I laughed my ass off, that means I really, really laughed. I couldn't stop laughing. It was super funny. Okay. All right. You use that for something that's really, really, really funny. You can't laugh. You can't stop laughing. Okay. Next, we're going to keep on moving. We'll keep on moving, everybody. All right, I wrote it twice. Okay, the next one, do you know this one? It's stronger than LOL. Yes, yes, it's much stronger. Do you love that one, Lolly? Okay, good. All right, what's this one mean? TTYL. Elise has got it, yep. Yeah. Yes, Kayum. Very good. Yes, Hamdi, perfect. Yes, Farida's got it. Lolly's got it. All right, that was an easy one. Yeah, all right. Okay, very good. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Yeah. So TTYL is talk to you later, meaning another way to say goodbye and hey, I'll talk to you later. Nice. All right. What about this one? What does this mean? JK. What does JK mean? Nope. No. Anybody know JK? Lolly, no. Kiko, yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. All right. Yeah, JK equals just kidding. I'm joking. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Nice. Muhammad, very good. All right. Let's go on to the next one. What's this mean? IMO.
joking kid? Well, you could say that, but native speakers wouldn't say joking kid. We'd say just kidding. So what about IMO? Marna's got it. Very good. Yes, Abdul, in my, well, not in my own, in my opinion. In my opinion. Yes. You guys are right about that one. Yes, in my opinion. So IMO, in my opinion, this is what I think. In my view, you can say that, but it's not as common <laughs> as in my opinion, Kayam. So you can say anything you want, but if you want to sound like a native speaker, it'd be my in my opinion. All right. All right, what about this one? Do you know this one? Do you know that? What does that mean? Any you know that? No, yes, no. Yes. You go, catch you later? Possibly. It's kind of the same thing, same thing, but it means this. Here we go. See ya. See ya. About 10 minutes. Yeah, what do we got? Yes, 10, 11 minutes. So not a long time. I have a ride. I have a riddle. A riddle means you have kind of a funny joke to tell. Some kind of maybe puzzle. All right. So see ya means see ya. Here's another one. Do you know this one? G to G. G to G means... Anybody know this one? Kayam's got it. Close, Muhammad. Not go. Got. Faraday's got it. G what? G what? <laughs> yeah. Gotta go. Got to go. Gotta go. Yes. So G to G is got to go. Right? So that means you have to leave. So, hey, everybody, I got to go. I have to leave. Got to go. Okay. Let's keep. We got it. I got three more of these. Let's get them all done here. I, D, C. What about this one? What does this mean? Have you ever seen this one online before? I, D, C. Yes, Elise. Well, however... I don't catch, no, no. Haven't seen it before. Lolly's right. Faraday's right. <laughs> Kiko said it twice. She doesn't care. Yeah, Connell, yes. So IDC means I don't care. That's a good one. I don't care. All right. Okay, how about this one? Have you heard this one before? NVM. Yes. Outlander's got it. Mariner's got it. Yes. Kiko. Tatia, never mind. So never mind means don't worry about it. Not important. Forget about it. Yeah. NVM, never mind. Never mind. And I got two more. Okay, this one I think you get. Never mind. How about this one? What's that mean? Late, right? No. 
Oh, keep new one. Love and respect. <laughs> no. I think Outlander's got it. Marna's got it. Yes, Ever's got it. Yeah. So L eight. So late. Er. So later, and it means see you later. All right, later, everybody means see you later. Okay. And the last one, last one. I think this one's easy. What's that one? Yes. Yeah. So it actually can be two things grammatically. All right. It can be your or your. Right. Your meaning belongs to you or you are contraction. Yeah. So your house. Let's go to your house. Or you're crazy, meaning you are crazy. All right, very good. Very good, everybody. So that's the internet vocabulary. Okay. All right. So now, let's, uh, do you guys want to hear a funny story? I have another, <laughs> but I don't care. All right, Kiko. <laughs> All right. So let's hear a funny story, and then I'll ask you questions about it. Are you guys up for that? You ready for that? Who wants to hear? Who wants to hear a story? <laughs> All right, I'll have a drink. Funny story, yeah, Lolly's. Lolly's excited. <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right, great. You're ready. Okay, so this story is called The Kick of the Century. Okay, so if something is called of the year, means it was the best one of the year. Kick of the century means it was the best kick in a hundred years. Kick of the century. I would love to hear about transport vocabulary. Well, KM, you go back and look at live from Sunday and you'll learn the transport vocabulary. All right, so this one is called the kick of the century and I was there when this story happened, but I was a baby. My mom was holding me in her arms when this story happened. I was a baby, all right? And this happened, well, must have been 51 years ago. I was a baby, <laughs> 50 years ago. My mom and my dad and my brother and sister were in the backyard of our house, okay? <laughs> my mom was talking to a neighbor who was across the fence in his yard okay so there's a fence dividing our yards and mom's just talking over the fence to the neighbor while she's holding me maybe I'm sleeping <laughs> my dad is barbecuing alright little Joe that's it that little baby Joe was there my dad is on the barbecue. He's cooking up hamburgers or hot dogs, okay? All right? At, at another part of the backyard. My brother and sister, so my brother would have been about four years old, and my sister, Debbie, would have been about nine, about nine years old at that time, okay? Still little kids, but Debbie's nine. She's a, you know, she's not tiny, Charlie, my brother, was four. He was still a little infant. Okay, you understand? And they are kicking a ball back and forth, like a like a soccer ball, but a little kid's ball, back and forth and back and forth. Okay? So that's the whole thing. My two brother and sister are kicking a ball. Dad's on the barbecue. Mom's holding me and talking to the neighbor. Understand? You got it? <laughs> So then, when children are pay, playing, a lot of times, probably the same in your countries, little kids want attention. They want their parents to pay attention and look at them and, and see what they can do. Because kids 
love attention from mom and dad and they want to show off and they want their parents to be proud okay so my sister she's in the yard and she's she's my brother is closer to my she's closer to mom and my sister's at the far end of the yard the backyard and she says okay she's saying hey mom look at me look at me mom look at me mom 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 all right and imagine my mother <laughs> she's got these two kids she's got a baby in her arms here's a one night off she doesn't have to cook dinner because dad's cooking dinner on the barbecue and she's talking to a neighbor she wants to relax okay but my sister debbie is mom 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 look at look 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 <laughs> so finally my mom said okay yes debbie what do you want and she's mom watch this this is going to be the kick of the century all right that means the best kick in a hundred years so debbie runs at the ball and she gives it a, as big a kick as a nine-year-old girl can and she wanted to kick it like over my brother's head like far away but it went off her foot at a bad angle it didn't go straight didn't go straight at the yard it went off at a bad angle and the ball came right up and hit my mom right on the nose. The ball came right, the, imagine a soccer ball comes right up and hits your mother right in the face. She couldn't block it. She couldn't stop it because she's holding the baby. And, of course, she wants to protect the baby, <laughs> me. <laughs> All right? So then my mom gets it flat in the face. She can't do anything. And then she starts bleeding. No blood is coming out of her nose <laughs> from this kick of the century. Blood's coming down. It's going on top of me. I was covered with my mom's blood. Thanks. Thanks, sister. She she hands the, <laughs> she hands the baby across, she hands me to the neighbor over the fence, another woman over there. Hold the baby. <laughs> And then she's got to run inside and get a cold cloth to stop the bleeding. Yeah, so that story in our family was called the kick of the century. <laughs> yes, crazy, crazy. So that was called kick of the century. I think my sister got yelled at for doing it. Okay. <laughs> poor mom that's it about moms they're always they do everything for us and mom gets a soccer ball in the face wow all right yes esteban would have killed my mom if he kicked her. yeah so a nine-year-old girl just bloody nose okay so now let me ask you questions see if you can get these questions okay are you ready all right how long ago did this story happen? How many years ago did this story happen? Yes, it was 50 or 51 years ago. All right. Could have been 50, could have been 51. All right. Okay. All right, good. And where was my family? Where did the story happen? Yeah, this is when I was a baby. Yeah. Oh, well, really? Same thing ever. Wow. Yeah. We were in the backyard. You're right, everybody. In the backyard. <laughs> okay. So... What is my dad doing while while the story happens? What is my father doing? Yes, Marnie's got it. He's doing yeah, he's running the barbecue. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay? Yeah, barbecue. Delicious. Smells good. All right. Okay. What is my mom doing in the backyard? So my dad is barbecuing. My mom is what? So 
it covered? No. She, yes, Marna's got it. J6 got it. Farida's got it. Yeah. She was talking to a neighbor over the fence. Yeah. Talking to the neighbor. Yes. And, Lolly, you're right, she was holding me. She was holding a baby. Then that was cute little Joe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. And my two siblings, my brother and sister, are kicking a ball. Do you remember my brother and sister's names? Do you remember my brother and sister's names? Marna has got it. They no, estimate Debbie. No, it was Debbie. Yeah, Charlie and Debbie. Four and nine. <laughs> yeah. So Debbie. Yeah, Charlie and Debbie. I'll type them in. Yeah, Charlie and Debbie. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to know the spelling of different names from different cultures, but that's how they're spelled, okay? So David, no, not, not David, Charlie and Debbie, okay. What did my sister want, what did she call this kick? What did she say, hey mom, watch this, this is going to be the, mm. what was her special name for the kick? The loco? No, no, not the loco. Yeah, Marnie, you're quite not the car, but the the kick, the kick of the century. Yeah, the kick of the century. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Debbie kicked the ball, and where where did the ball go? After, after Debbie kicked the ball, where did it go? Who did it hit? It didn't go straight. No, not a straight at all. It. Where did it go? It. it into. A, yeah. It hit my mom's face. Hit my mom's no right in the nose. Yeah. That's okay, Esteban. Yeah, my, right in my mom's face, into my mom's nose. So you wouldn't say into my mom's nose. You'd say in my mom's face. Yeah, hit. She hit, the kick hit my mom in the face. The ball hit my mom in the face, my nose, right in the nose. Okay, all right. And then after the ball hit my mom in the face, what happened? After the ball hit my mom, what happened? Yes, bleeding. Yeah, she started bleeding. <laughs> All right, she started bleeding, and where did the blood go? So it started bleeding. And then the blood went where? Probably swollen, Matin, but she started bleeding and the blood went. Your sister? No, the blood didn't go on my sister. The blood went all over. Yeah, onto Joe. Yeah, she started bleeding onto baby Joe, little me. Yeah. Not too cold. No, it was a warm summer day. Yeah. Yeah, on to little Joe. Can you believe that? Little, uh, there I am being a good little baby and then I'm covered in blood. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> so I don't really remember the story because I was a baby, but my brother and my sister, my parents used to tell it. And after Debbie did that, she just stood there. And she's like, oh my God. Like she's like, what happened? This is the worst. Yeah. So it was a funny story that my family used to tell. And nobody really got hurt. My mom was okay. Still had a cute nose. My mom always had a cute nose. 
All right, everybody. So that's uh, an hour and five minutes. So I have to wrap it up and head back. Uh, uh, maybe I'll be able to do another live lesson tomorrow, but I'm not sure uh, because I never know where I got to go with kids and pickups and drop offs. I'm sorry. I got to go now and get my daughter from her from her pottery class. She's making some bowls, I think. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. All right. <laughs> All right, and I'll hopefully I can see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, everybody. See you later.